sun is coming. A little at a time, the sun is coming. It feels like a dark morning, but it's on its way. <laughs> so as you set yourself up, you want to have Good morning, Jennifer. Hello. Happy Boxing Day. Oh. Have a strap nearby. Have a blanket or a bolster that you can sit on. If that's too much, then sit on a chair. We're just going to dive in. Just going to start it out, right? Oh. Sitting tall, roll your shoulders, heart high, chin in, little circle in the seat. Settle yourself. Ongnamo, I bow to everything outside of me, all that inspires me, all that designs me, all that brings me into being. I bow to this. Guru Dev Namo, all that is within me, all that I know and all that I don't, I am simply slowly remembering. I bow to this. Outside and in, we are held three times. Breathe in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo shoulders, roll your wrists, shake it out, and we'll come to lie down on the floor. And start right there to open the hips. Interlace your fingers over your right knee, let your left leg go long, and bring it up and down. Inhaling up, exhaling down, the simplest of movements, but really the greatest remedy when you've been traveling and you finally arrive at your hotel, lie down on your bed, Ooh, raise and lower your leg, and just get the seat, the journey, the sitting out of your hip, and keep your left heel to the floor, take your left hand overhead, and stand in the heel and drop the left thigh bone to the floor, opening from hip to shoulder to hand. Oh, and set something down, something internally you've been carrying, set it down. And back to center, interlacing your fingers over your left shin, right leg long, inhaling up, exhaling down. So often we think we have to be prepared, we have to be ready for what we're about to do. I have to be ready. And I do the same thing. But the doing is what gets us ready. And the heel to the floor. And the right hand overhead. And then pause and set down the readiness. Set down that concern about preparation. You are so very remarkably sufficient. Right here. And then put your arms out wide, put your feet flat. Your feet feel the outer edges of your mat. Allow your knees to wash out side to side. And so for this new year, I'm starting up two new things. Voice lessons and physical training. And I feel like I need to be ready, that I should be doing something before I begin so that I can be ready for lessons. And the whole point of the lesson is that it will teach me what I require, that I am ready. I am ready. I am ready to learn. I am ready to be ready. Right leg long. Bend your left knee. Drop it across to the right. A twist. 
Back to the center, straight left leg, right knee bends, drop to the left, a twist. And then we change, taking your hands overhead, start to alternate sides, and you're only going as far as your body appreciates. There's no performance, there's no grade. Only you know if it serves you. I am ready. Mm. And the next time that your right knee drops across to the left, you'll pause there with the left hand on the outer side of your right thigh. Quite likely it will not reach the floor. And sweep your right hand wide, skimming the floor, and return exactly the same, skimming the floor to reach overhead. So you skim wide like a great sweep of a wing, and then back up until you can feel that from the center of your navel through the right rib all the way up behind your right ear, right arm wide and resting. On the exhalation, your navel turns right up towards the waist. And you set down the reluctance and the concern and you roll to center, changing out. Right leg goes straight, left knee bends, left knee comes across, left hand overhead. Sweep wide like a wing. And skim the floor, coming back up. Oh, that you could clear out the tension that you start to find behind the chest, as though behind the breath. Can you clear your breathing? Left arm wide, pause, opening. Firm your right leg beneath you. And firming your right leg beneath you gives you a clear stance, an anchor. The navel turns left from your leg. And you open wide to the left arm. Oh, and back into the center. Just find neutral for a moment. Bring your knees to your chest, widening your low back a little bit side to side. Shake out your feet. Three times forward and back, and then we'll come to dog. So ideally, a good lesson, a good class, a good practice has built into us a means of getting ready, a preparation down dog. That we don't simply start feet in the fire. Walk it out. If it did, then what we might learn, what the class may teach us, is that we are insufficient somehow. We are unpreparable. Dog, pause and just rest. Let your dog be light. Let it open wherever it needs to, wherever it most loudly arrives in your body. Just give it invitation and welcome doesn't need to be any better or different. Walk your feet to the left and cross your left foot in front of your right. Bring your knees down. Widen your feet and on your exhalation, your tail drops between your heels. Settle. Inhaling, rising up. The chest is broad. Exhale, folding back. Ah. As you stay back, let your elbows be heavy. And as your elbows drop, it softens and opens your shoulders. And as your shoulders drop, soften your hips. See if you can soften your inner thighs. Open the backs of your knees with your attention, with your awareness. Drop your head and breathe into the middle of your back. Give yourself a little internal permission to soften rather than survive. So that when you rise back up, there's new space through the legs. Tuck toes, hips up. 
and step the right in front of the left. Bringing your knees down to the floor, your right knees in front of your left. Widen your feet and sit your hips back. We are all completely prepared for what we're here to provide the world. Rise up. Wag your tail. Fold it back. And I am learning to trust this more and more. Rise up, soften your body, be neutral and keep that neutrality as you fold. Just keep the neutrality as you fold. As you fold, you'll encounter tension. Stay neutral, stay soft. That tension is not an insufficiency. Soften your arms, soften your thighs, drop your head. Trust this space to open you and to prepare you. Rising, tucking toes, uncross and walk out your dog. And then be still. And again, in your stillness, be soft. And notice where it's loudest in your dog. Just meet that. Let it be so. Walk your feet to your hands and take your strap with you as you go. Standing tall, let yourself settle into a vertical posture. A little shift of your blood pressure. Wag your tail. So your strap is long enough to come up and over your shoulders. And then round out. <sighs> Inhaling up. And down. I think you're doing great. <sighs> All the way up through the chest. And then all the way down, rounding. When our cats, one little action, they show you exactly where they would most appreciate being petted. They give it to you, right here, right here, right under my jaw, right here at the base of my tail. And so can you listen and let your body show you where does it really want that stretch? Oh yeah, where do you purr when you get it right? So at the top, you can drop to the right and swing across the center and up over. Bending your knees, the whole body is serving the body. I'm listening to where it's needed. I'm listening to the pace and the reach. And I say, here, have some more. Is this what you wanted? Ah. Standing tall, pause, and drop to the left, and sweep across the center, and rise up and over. Oh. Oh. And one more time, hands up high, pause, tall chest, broad, palms face forward. And keep your palms facing forward as you go back. As you go back, take your time. It'll be mighty, it'll be racy. Take your time. We're not trying to get away from it. There's an intensity and we are okay. The chest is changing, the arms are opening. We take our time, the strap coming down, coming down, coming down. Noticing. So that when you let go, you can feel the whole Blessed front surface of the body. This is your windscreen. The front of the body is how you're moving forward through time. It's how you're addressing the future. As we get old, the back of us rounds down. So much of our past is coming forward, closing our future. Open your future and bring it down to a seat. So as high as it needs to be, a bolster, a blanket, a chair, all so good, anything you like. 
Good morning, good morning, good morning. Sitting so tall, chest broad, windscreen clear. Left thumb and first fingertip touch, making a circuit, making a loop, right? This mudra. The right hand, first two fingers together, folding in, and the tip of your thumb closes the right side nostril, just above and behind the flare of flesh. And you breathe in through the left, and then the fourth fingertip closes the left side, and you breathe out the right. Again, close the right, inhale left, close the left, and exhale right. Close your eyes, sit tall, in left. Two, three, four, out right. Two, three, four, in left. Two, three, four, out right. Two, three, four, in left. Out right. In left, be light with the breath. It may swell and change outright. Let it loose in left. Just keep steering, but be light outright. Three more, just like that. In left. If it wants to get bigger, just slow your count so slightly. Next inhale through the left, you'll pause at the top. Pause four. Three, two, one, out right, two, three, four, right hand down. Soften the left side shoulder, the right side brain. Right hand, first two fingers folding in, close the left side nostril, breathe in right. Close the right side, breathe out left. In right, activates left side brain. Out left, quiets right side brain. In right, two, three, four. Out left, two, Three, four, in, out. On your next inhalation, pause full. Four, three, two, one, out left. Right hand down. Noticing left side brain, right side brain. Right side body, left side body. Activating and calming both sides of ourselves so that we become more limitless 
rather than relying on what we are familiar with, we begin to rely on what we're capable of. Hands high, palms are open. Bring your hands to fists, bring your elbows down against your body. Inhale up, exhale down. It's like your hands are on springs and they just pop up. Hint of a smile, what are you activating? Just know, so whatever's in your expression, you're gonna make more of that. That's something to be aware of. Five, four, three, two, hands up high, breathe in, sip up. Tuck your chin and catch it all in your chest. Wriggle, rise, root. Wriggle, rise, call it up, call it up. And then chin up, breath out, hands wide. Notice. Notice that axis from the seat up through the body to the top of your head. You are ready. You are prepared. And we are being prepared. There's more, but you're never behind. Come down onto your back and fire up your belly. Hmm. Hands to the sides of your thighs as you roll back, knees to the chest, and then rolling up, release your thighs and reach forward. So you're rolling back, and you're rolling up. And it's that simple. You can use your legs, roll through the spine, or if you don't need to, don't hold your legs, but you can still use them to roll you forward and back. As you're ready, plant your feet. Roll back, roll up. So it's up to you how you want to proceed. As you're ready, the legs straighten if you need to, bend your knees on the way back, and then come to straight. As you can, the legs stay straight. The hands point up, and the hands point forward. Reach up and over to complete the motion, sweeping over at the top to revolve through the navel. Exhale at the top. Inhale as you roll back. All of it is adjustable to serve you. And one more. Huh. To lie back. Palms are open, legs are long. Notice the upper aspect of your abdomen, the base of your ribs, the space above your navel. Shake your feet out side to side, your knees up and down. The legs are not tense. There's an ease in your body. Draw your knees into your chest, hands on shins. This will be exhale. Legs out to 60 degrees, feet together. Hands out wide to the side. This will be inhale. And exhale, bring your knees in. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. Your pace, your height. If it's ever too much on your low back or your hip flexors, keep hold of the left, and left open the right, and bring it back. Hold the right, open the left and go back. So opening one side at a time is a great way to modify but stay in the rhythm of your breathing and the movement.
three, two. Finish where you are, hug your shins, feet to the floor, hands wide, the height of your head. Shake out your feet, loosen your knees, and notice the center of your abdomen. Building a quality of light. Your feet walk in. Lift your hips. Put your palms flat underneath your hips. Draw your knees to your chest. Heels high. Tap your right heel and bring it up. Tap your left and bring it up. Exhale down, inhale up. Work one leg at a time, or as you choose, two feet down, two feet up. Just staying steady. two and one more with your feet up high bend your knees release your hands hands wide legs long shake the feet side to side the knees up and down wag the tail loosen it all so that this light of the low abdomen is free to move through the pelvis the thighs the knees the shins the toes the heart the hands the head You are a being of light. Draw your knees to your chest and roll yourself up to a seat and build your cross-legged seat. So whatever support you require, your heart is high. So simple. Never had quite the um, consistency for those who dislike this Kriya. It's pretty strong. And that's fantastic. But it may be the way in which it's being approached. Turn your palms open. Fold your middle finger in and open your hand again. Middle finger folds in, open your hand. Exhale, close, inhale, open, X in, X in, X in, in and out the nose. So truly, this is what's asked of you. So it's a steady rhythmic breath. And you can work right there, or just for a moment, take your hands out wide and turn your thumbs back. Keep your hands moving, keep your breath steady. Roll your thumbs back, rolling the pinky edge up so slightly, and feel how that lifts. I want you to shimmy a little bit through the shoulder girdle, through the ribs. Use your thumbs and your pinkies, rotating your heart up a little higher. Wag your tail, turn your chin. Good, stay with it. Now as we stay here, you may find the shoulders rising. So turn your thumbs up and your palms forward. Keep your hands moving. Good. Draw your shoulder blades towards your spine. Your heart up. Your chin lightly tucks. Shoulder blades towards your spine. Your wingspan is growing. Keep the shoulder blades. Turn your thumbs forward. Your palms down. Now anchor into the palms. 
and the tops of your shoulders drop and widen. Perfect. Keep that. Roll your thumbs up and roll your thumbs back. Roll your pinkies up. So all of it, your shoulder blades toward the spine, the shoulders down, and the thumbs roll back. So simple. And when necessary, bend your elbows. No drama. No drama. If it's work, bend your elbows. Where can there be a little freedom, a little pliability? Where does your body need to go as you do this? Right, we want to be releasing density. You're just removing the density. When you get stuck, just turn your palms open and move your hand and move your breath. There are parts of me that I'm familiar with and that I rely on and that I know will show up for me. But if I want my life to expand, I have to step into the places that just don't feel like that. And then really what I need to do is be able to notice how I feel and to allow the charge of the unfamiliar to just grow a little bit and recalibrate. I'm okay, I'm right here. This is my home as well. But there's no force if you need to bend your elbows. Bending your elbows and moving your hands is far superior to simply stopping. Minute and a half, so steady. And if you always straighten your arms, I want you to bend your arms right now and just, oh, Ah, I am completely prepared for this. And then just an inch at a time, let them come up, just explore. Thirty seconds. Arms out if you like. Deliberate. Effortless. The breath lighter. Bend your elbows, bring it down, shake out the fingertips, out the shoulders, the neck and the face, and then just sweep wide and gather it up. At the top, three more sips. So you're full to the top, tuck the chin and cap it off. Gather the pelvic floor like you're pulling a drawstring. And rise up from there to the navel, up from the navel to the heart, up from the heart to the head. Lift your chin, breathe out, go wide and down and savor what you've made. Soften, the effort is complete, you are done, set it down. Step away from it now. And then 
then the legs come out and the feet shake out and the knees shake out and you rebuild. If at any point you need to, keep your legs out. Pop the long orange one under here and it will set you up. And sitting tall, right hand out. Interlace your fingers, the left hand on top. You make a clasp. Elbows bend. You're turning left, you're turning right. It's this simple. Inhale left, exhale right. I'm intentionally putting new things in my year ahead. Intentionally stepping not further into what I know. There's always more yoga studies to do. But there are things I don't know at all. And in that, there's this, an unfamiliarity that feels like suffering. <laughs> I'm scared. Scared of failing it, scared of showing up unprepared. But if I start small and I start kindly, and then I just continue, I believe that there is growth waiting for me. Inhale left, exhale right. That more of who I am can come to me, can be available. Letting your arms out longer and longer as you choose. It's entirely up to you. Eventually the hands are out the height of the shoulders, but I would give it a minute to warm up. Thirty seconds. Three, two, one. Release your hands, release the action. Shake it out, sweep up, clear. Three sips more at the top. Hook your thumbs, tuck your chin, reach out. Gather the pelvic floor in and up. Your attention sliding up and up through the body. 
Lift your chin, open your arms, breathing out and wide. And shake out the legs and the feet if you like. Rebuilding your seat. So simple. Fold your thumb into your fists. Put your fingers over your thumb. And with the elbows bent, it's as though you're striking a drum. Your palms face the floor. Inhale one, exhale the other. So in this most modified version, your shoulders stay steady and the action is coming from the hinge of your elbow, which is very useful if you have any injuries or old shoulder issues. As that warms up, widen your elbows, palms facing the floor, and you start to bring your hands just the height of your head, but with your elbows wide, we're avoiding the impingement of the shoulder joint. Again, it can be so small, really. You are designing the terrain here. You want to walk on the flats or do you want to go up the hill? You design that yourself. Some days are smaller. As you're ready, the arms straighten. And as they straighten, they may slow. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So if that starts to create pain on the tops and the fronts of your shoulders, bend your elbows wider, keep your palms facing the floor, and continue. It's just a simple movement with a steady breath. We're using this to override the way in which your mind responds I want to, I don't, I can, I can't. Just find neutral. And at best, a hint of a smile. So much of our success is simply seeing something through, adjusting as we need to, to feel our way to our own success. So what needs to happen so that you can continue moving with a steady breath, so that you can feel how ready you are for everything the day has to offer.
One minute to go. Three, two, one, shake it down, let it go, all the way up. Be done, be done, be done. And then rise, inhaling up. Three sips at the top, call it up. Hook your thumbs, tuck your chins, and just pause the breath in the body, the light, as though holding it there for your lungs and your heart and your inner organs and your liver and your intestines, and you lift your chin and you breathe out and you go wide. And from the center all the way out into the field that surrounds you. That movement just now of your hands and the fists clearing and charging the electromagnetic field that surrounds you, your atmosphere, setting your mood, clearing yesterday, amplifying what it is that your heart is holding today. I am this. And then shake out the legs. So the way in, to keep this simple, most modified, the heels are quite far away and the toes are lifted and your knees open and then together. Open and together. And you're pivoting on your heels. If you need to, your hands help. And that can be all you need to do. The further your heels are away from you, the easier it is. So if your legs are straight, you just open and close your feet, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. A super modification. Great. That can be your practice right now. Or the knees bend so slightly. Or the feet flat. <laughs> and then as your knees open, interlace your hands going high and then exhaling coming down. So the modified would be your legs out, your feet open, your hands lift, exhale, inhale. So it can be that simple. It can be that peaceful, or as you choose. Give yourself the power of choosing a modification. Give yourself the power of being aware of what you require and get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't even need to be big. And for some of us, it's really challenging to this rotation of the thigh. And it's part of the reason that our hips degenerate as we get older, because we don't make this movement through the hip socket. And this movement, this rotation of the femur head is helping to move the synovial fluid that's in that joint, not just forward and back, but giving us more mobility, giving us greater strength in the pelvis, connecting the inner thigh to the outer back. So we're just assembling ourselves a little more fully. Rather than the things that we know, we're just rotating in and out so softly through a new territory 
And that new territory is there to give us greater stability. And it's a falling open and a falling closed. And if you get to a place where moving your legs that way is not appropriate, just sit tall, interlace your fingers, and move only your hands. Come so. Feel the anchor of your low abdomen, the inner and outer thigh, inner and outer hip. So exhaling down and inhaling up. Becoming as limitless as you can, as light in the movement, as easy in the movement as possible. Less than two minutes to go. Oh, you're just fortifying. <sighs> and ideally, there's a place where you're just letting go. There's just sort of a, an ending at the bottom, and the exhale out, and the, oh, I'm done. <sighs> so just end repeatedly. And maybe if you've been at this for 36 days, you can turn your motor on. That as your knees come together, your low abdomen gathers back towards the spine. You're stable, you're tall, your shoulders are strengthening, your arms are straightening. So there are options. You can make it softer or you can really feel the power that you've developed. Both are perfect. 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Legs go out, release your feet and your knees and your thighs and your tail and your neck, out the hands. And as you're ready, sweep and gather up tall. Three more sips, lift your chin, hook your thumbs, tuck your chin and cap the breath into your body. Just stay so still, letting it accumulate and coalesce. Chin up, breath out, hands wide, letting it go. To land and to notice. Let the effort pass. Out and out and out and out and out of the body. You're no longer doing that. 
Can you let that go more? And notice what's in its place. A fulfillment. Release the effort and the stress it may have caused and rest in the completion, in the conclusion. And take that fulfillment of the conclusion into your breathing. All too often we hold the stress of our day, but we did it. We have stepped out of the day and into our evening. Can we let the rest fall off? I did that. And I am this right now. You may stay seated, crossing your legs, or building your Shavasana. Take your blanket, your bolster, place it under the backs of your knees as you lie back. And just find three minutes, effortlessly drop into the floor. And as you lie back, Again, let go of the effort and arrive in the outcome. And the hint of a smile, shoulders tuck under the body, the navel is bright. I am this, the heels are heavy, the toes are long, the knees are soft, the hips release, the belly opens.
Stay as long as you dare. And begin to deepen your breathing. And gently taking your hands up overhead. There is a resting place, a starting place that you can always return to. You can always bring your mind back home and rest right here, right now, in present, unbiased awareness. Keep this restful quality as you roll to your right side. And find it again, that right here, right now, in whatever posture you're in. Again, stay longer if you can, or as you're ready, roll to a seat, landing, establishing that sense of awareness. I am this. Establishing that awareness before you go on. I am this. And as you're ready, the hands go wide and high. Palms together, the thumbs to the forehead center. I bow to it, I bow to all of it. This moment in this body, in this life. Long sat, short nam, inhale. So Satnam, I see myself. Namaste, I see you. Thank you for your time, for your practice. So today, currently, is December 26th. I don't know when you'll replay this. But next week, Sunday, we will be um, online 8 to 9, and then 10.30 to 11.30, We'll be live at 9 Franklin Street in Baltimore, our first Sunday outing. So I will see you there if you choose, see you in the next year. And until then, this is the final week of this sequence for some of us. That's a great relief. Doesn't matter what we're doing. What matters is the way in which we're bringing ourselves to it and the way in which we're adjusting it to show us our success. Adjust your life so that the fulfillment you experience is not for your family or your partner. Your fulfillment is for you. And so if that means that you need to tear off the binds and go as fast as you can, then do it and turn around and say, I gotta go fast and I'll be right back. You're doing great, shpow. Because that's going to bring you fulfillment. And if doing the opposite is important and just finding the simplest gesture, getting up, washing your hands and then going back to bed, fantastic. No one defines your fulfillment. No one defines your success except you. And so a big aspect of this sequence is the challenge that it provides for us with absolutely no adrenaline. You're not going faster anywhere. It isn't really any fun. <laughs> but we're coming into contact with our ability to shift our circumstance so that it feels fulfilling, so that it's ours. Two more, Tuesday at noon, Thursday at noon, and then we call it good. Yesterday's vinyasa was so yummy. It was a half hour of simple grounding movements and then 
25 minutes of a restorative on a bolster, especially if you've been eating some weird things over the holidays, some rich things, someone else's making, giving to you things, then it was great to roll around the valley and open that out to help us process that choice. <laughs> I will see you in the days ahead. Thank you for your practice. Satnam. <laughs>